Hi everyone, I'm Tess from the Arty Crafty Place and welcome to another block printing project. So this week I've got a new printing project for you and I thought I'd do something a bit more kind of summery and outdoorsy and wanted to do something with flowers as it's now spring and the weather's more beautiful. I thought this was a really good topic that is kind of relevant for all of us and would be a really fun project to kind of have a go at and to show you guys, especially as Easter's coming up, this might give you some ideas or maybe just you need a bit of a spring refresh in your kitchen or in your living room. So this is a really lovely starting point. So what I'm going to be looking at is kind of creating a bouquet of flowers print. So something like this, I tend to start with a jug or a vase and then create this beautiful print of lots of kind of flowers and colour coming out. And I'm going to be looking at framed prints today. Now I've got several of these around the studio and around my house and they just really brighten the place up. And you can keep changing them depending on kind of what colours you're liking or what designs you've got. And um, so it's really versatile, but a framed print is just lovely to have in the house. I have one in the studio that I show to everyone that comes on a workshop, which is this one. And this was just a little bit of practice fabric that I was testing out a design on and thought, actually, that's definitely not worth throwing away. Let's try and find use for it. So I put it in a frame and it's been in the studio ever since and it's really popular. So I just want to show you how you can create something like this. It's very easy to do. You just need a frame and then some scrap fabric or paper. Um, I printed this one, this lovely um, kind of bouquet with bees is on fabric, whereas this um, jug of tulips is on paper. So it's completely up to you and kind of what you have in the house. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is completely versatile to what blocks and what designs and things you have at home. There's no set design, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. So please, once you've watched this, just have an experiment with what you've got at home and see what you can come up with. Because I'm sure you'll be really surprised with actually what you can create with the designs that you have at home. Or if you just need to get a couple of extra ones, you know, maybe you can just put a few tweaks in. But what we're going to be doing is looking at this kind of building up of a design. So I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this. So the jug with a lovely bunch of colourful flowers on top. Now, like I said, this is really versatile to what designs you have at home. So for this one, I've used the tulips. So just one block um, and two colours, that looks really good. This was another one I just recently tried, which was a red jug. And I kind of wanted to do some flowers. So I've done some yellow and orange flowers with a few leaves. And that looks really creative. And then also another design we have in our range is this vase. So I've used the vase to kind of also create the bouquet effect and just use long blocks and long stems to come out of there. So there really is so many different ways that you can try this project, but I'm going to be showing you how I kind of put together the design, work on my colours and then kind of creating the pattern. So hopefully you guys are ready and excited to watch. So I'm going to go through the printing blocks that I'm using now with you and just show you which designs I've got. Like I said, this is completely versatile to whatever you have at home. You can definitely try this design and this project with any printing blocks you have at home. Whether it's a flower or a seed head, please have a go because I'm sure you can create something beautiful. But as my starting point, I love to have a jug. I just feel like it's a really lovely way to start my bouquet. It's kind of something I'd have in my kitchen as well. I love having a jug full of flowers. So this is what I'm kind of using as my vase. So I've got our large jug, just because I like to have quite a large kind of print of flowers around it. So the large jug works the best. But also, you know, a teacup or something, that would really work. We've got a lovely teacup block. But also we do have the traditional vase, if that's something you like. So that's my starting point. And then I've just got a bit of a mixture of different flowers. So you want to have a bit of a variety of sizes if you're using different ones. If you're using the same block, then obviously it doesn't matter. You're just gonna be repeating that same design. But I'm gonna do different designs. So I've got a bit of a mixture of flowers. I've got some smaller ones, and then I've also got a couple of bigger ones. So I'm gonna have a play around with these and see what works. Um, I've got some little filler blocks as well. So I got a couple of solid circles. I've also got a little leaf. So just a little mixture of flowers and you just want to have a couple of different sizes and different patterns. If you're going for this kind of same design as me where you want a bit of a variety. And then I'm gonna be using some nice bright spring colors. Now I printed this design in duskies. So, you know, the 
kind of Indian yellow, the Indian aqua, the blues, the dusky purples, which I love. It's very subtle and looks really good. But I'm kind of feeling like I want to try something brighter. So I'm going to be printing with our more brighter spring colours. So similar to this. Now, just to let you know, I will write it down, but I'm going to be printing with lavender, duck egg, mustard, kiwi, pink, rose. So I've got kind of bright colours and I'm, I'm going to get them all out. So I think I'm going to be using about eight colours um, on my tray. So lots of different colours to choose from, but that's really going to help with my design. So I'm going to get my paints, move the camera and we'll get started. So I've got my paints out and actually I've got nine colours. So I'll just go through them with you just in case you like them. But for my project today, I'm going to be using red, duck egg, sage, lavender, pink, grass green, kiwi green, mustard and turquoise, which is a lot of colours, but I kind of want to have a nice mix. So I might only use these colours once on the print, but the colours that I've chosen are going to work together really well. So like I said, I've gone for a bright. So I've actually used our spring paint set and I've just added pink and turquoise because they're not in it. Uh, so I've got a really nice mix of paints. And I've also chosen my blog. So remember, this is all about experimenting at home. You need to come up with what design is going to work for the patterns that you have. So for example, if you only have the leaf and one flower, well then that can absolutely work. I've just used orange and yellow on this um, detailed flower with a green leaf. And it's a very simple design, only using, you know, two different blocks and the jug. And I've still managed to come up with something really beautiful. So really have a play around and see what you've got at home, see which designs you like, and then what would work. But the one thing that I do think looks lovely is the jug. So if you don't have a jug, it might be worth getting one if you like this project. So first of all, you want to have a practice. So I actually know which design I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the similar to this. I might go a little bit bigger, but I've got my basis. Uh, to work from. Now, you definitely want to have a practice because during your practice, you're going to figure out whether there's any colours you don't want, any designs you don't want to go next to each other. If you, it turns out that your practice piece is actually perfect and you're just going to use this one to frame, which I could mine, or I could definitely cut this out and stick it on a card, then that's a bonus. But for this project, I'm actually just using scrap fabric. I'm just using old cut up bed sheets because I'm going to frame it. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. So, you know, I don't mind how many times I go wrong when I'm doing this project because I know that I'm just printing on practice fabric. So I'm going to keep this at the side of me to follow from. And that's really important. You definitely want to keep it close so that you can kind of copy the design. So I'm going to keep that up here and I'm going to try and do it. You know, if you're happy with your practice, try and do it exactly the same so that you get the same layout. So first of all, I'm going to start with my jug. Now, I'm, I'm going to think about where I'm placing this because obviously I'm going to do it in a frame. So there needs to be a bit of white space around the side. So I'm going to situate the jug kind of towards the bottom and make sure I print this one straight. So I'm going to do it in the lavender again. Have a nice kind of dark purple jug. So just remember, if you haven't block printed before, make sure you go back to one of our basics of block printing video, because otherwise this might not be making much sense to you. But I'm going to trust that everyone that's watching this has block printed before. So I'm going to put this down at the bottom. And I'm just going to show you how I build up my design. And just really have a little play with the layout and colours and things. I've obviously played with this design a lot, so I'm really happy with my layout, but it did take a while. It took me quite a while to, you know, get the colours right. I was working with Duskies originally, but actually I wanted it to be a bit brighter and the brighter colours are going to work in my home. So I wanted to go for something that's going to stand out a bit more. Also, it's so cheery at the moment. Like I'm really into sending people beautiful cards or little beautiful presents. So this is going to be really nice. So first of all, I'm going to start with a little design at the bottom just to get started. So I've got a little yellow flower that I'm going to do, which I can see on my practice. So just to get us started, it's a nice base point. So there's my little flower. And then on from this, I'm going to go with a bigger flower. And I'm always swapping the colours, trying not to put um, the same colour next to itself 
because I want to keep that variety. So I'm going to place this here. So I'm really working around the jug. So because the jug spout goes up and the handle, you've kind of got this like opening and you want to follow that so you get a lovely kind of bouquet going outwards. So I put that flower there. And then I'm going to do another one here in duck egg. So you see, I like to have a bit of a variety of designs for this one I'm doing at the moment. But if you just had the same design, you could just keep swapping the colours and create something different. So that flower. And then I'm actually going to start the base with a leaf. I really like the leaves coming out. I might change the colour though. I'm going to do one leaf kiwi. So I've got a bit of a variety in the leaf colours as well, which is really nice. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do this going outwards so it's almost supporting the design. And then I'm going to go again with the, the I'm going to go again with grass green now. This one is. There we go. I've just got two leaves now. So now I'm going to make sure I work my way outward. So again, remember I've practiced this, so I figured out how far out I want to go. If I'm completely honest with you, I think this sunflower one I did, I actually went a bit too high. I think if I did it next time, I might stick to do it a bit smaller. But I still really like how it came out. So my next design, I'm going to do a little pink flower there. And it's almost like a little game. You're just trying to figure out where you can fit the blocks in and where they work best. There we go. And you can see I just really like this kind of variety of colours. You know, I might only use you know, the, the colour once, but it's really added something to my print. So I'm happy even if I've just used it once, like this red. I think that just gives a really little pop of colour, which I really like. So that's going to go. So I keep referring back to my practice piece because I'm really happy with my practice design. So I am I am following that. The only thing I didn't quite like was this yellow flower at the top. So I might change the colour of that to something else. I think I might do that in duck egg blue. Um, and that's the good thing about having a practice to refer back to and a kind of practice design is that you can always look back for it to see, see what you thought. Yes, I prefer that. I think I've got a little uh, leaf in there. And you can see how the pattern builds and you just want to be slow with it, just be steady. Um, you know, because then you can make any changes that you need to. But there is no right or wrong way with this. It's just being creative. And, you know, flowers aren't a printing block that I would say I use that much. Uh, but actually, at this time of year, for kind of spring and Easter, this is the perfect project. And it is lovely to get my flowers out and have a go with them. So like I said, I don't play with them too much. I'm going to change the colour now to sage. I'm going to get another leaf in there, I think going downwards. So I'm going a little bit off now from my practice design, but I'm feeling confident. So I'm going to go a couple more out now and just build up the design slightly, just so it's slightly more rounded. So I'm just going to add a couple of different prints. But this is sometimes where I can go wrong, is if you add too much and you haven't practiced it. So you do want to be careful when you get to a stage like this. That's not too bad, just something else there. And then I think I'll be nearly done. Maybe we'll add a couple little designs in. And you can see I've got a bit of a mixture of kind of solid and detailed designs, which I think really works well. And it kind of complements um, it just by using different designs and using different styles of blocks. So I've got a little pocket of solid designs there, if you can see, but I actually really like that. 
And then what I might do actually is I might get a little bee or a little embellishment and do some little um, prints around the edge just to add something to this white space. So I've got this tiny little bee and I'm just going to add a real just couple of prints. Obviously the bee works really well with the flowers and just a very couple of them just to add something a little bit extra to my design. Might do one going down here. There we go. So I've just added five little bees. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to pop it in my frame and show you how it looks. So I left my print to dry for about 15 minutes. I quickly ironed it just to heat set it. Even though I know it's not going to be washed, I always like to do that. And it's flattened out really nicely and it has fitted in my frame perfectly. So as you can see, it looks beautiful and it's just such a cheery print to have around the house. Obviously this is only printed on, on a little bit of fabric so I can keep changing it if I want to or I can keep it up all year round. And this design also looks, you know, really wonderful on a tea towel, on a card for Easter, um, on a gift bag. So it's really versatile and you can use it on lots of different items. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I hope it's given you some tips and then maybe you'll grab your jugs and your flowers out of the cupboards and have a go at printing your own beautiful jug and flower bouquet. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.